We don't want that the mess in, in, in British politics is uh, imported in, in, in European politics and that's the reason why I think that if uh, the UK asks for uh, a prolongation of the period uh, under Article 50, so to, uh, uh, to prolong that, uh, uh, that period, uh, that is possible for a few weeks but not beyond the European election because otherwise this uncertainty uh, will, uh, will continue. It's a chaos now. Uh, because uh, we don't know exactly what the, uh, what the parties uh, want. The further east you go in the European Union, just generally speaking, the less of an issue it'll become. But if you're in the Netherlands, for instance, exporting a large amount of fruit and veg to the UK, then it's going to be a big election issue. So I think it'll come down to, to what extent you trade with the UK. And the more you trade, then the more an issue it's going to be. The less you trade, the less an issue. Now, of course... Uh I think it will have an influence, but it will not overshadow the European election. The only way to avoid um, the hard Brexit, and we should avoid that, that leads to chaos, um, is to postpone that. And then we would have immediate implication on the European election. And yes, it is an election topic because it shows that nationalists and populists don't lead to more sovereignty, they lead to chaos. We have six mandates in the European Parliament and we were supposed to get seventh. And now, obviously, it will not happen, which makes us sad. But of course, you're right. Yes, uh, I believe it. Uh, it will. It will uh, kind of. We will see growth of Euroscepticism definitely. So you're hoping that they will have another vote and stay and yes. then participate in these elections. Yes. But time is getting tight. No, it's huh? like. Yes, but we can find time for uh, for democracy.